Ike versus P2. This is an interesting matchup. I feel like it could just go either way. Like one, either person is gonna dominate. Three, two, one, go! There we go. P2 gets the combo off the down throw immediately. Ooh, goes for the cheeky down beat, but gets nothing off it. And Cash just keeps getting con just keeps calling Tommy Boy. I'm pretty sure Cash is not taking damage from Tommy Boy at all. It's all been uh, self-inflicted. It's a nice throw off at stage. All right, Once, I don't think he's still gotten a hit yet. Oh, finally, Tommy Boy gets something going. Okay, I feel like the score is basically even right now, even though there's a huge deficit, but it's Peachy versus Ike, so you never know. Alright, and Pichu gets the back of the kill. Sorry about the no con the lack of content for a second. I had said some messages. But well, here we go. Pichu at 94. It's definitely an heavy attack could basically kill him now at this point. Like I just said, any attack could kill him. But now we're back to even. But like the first stop. Pichu was able to just combo Ike the entire time, so we will be able to do it this stock. I'm going with the down throw up air combo. It's a nice back air. Oh, it's a nice thunder drill. Let's keep thunder drilling him off. Back air once again, send him to the other side. Nice back here once again. Back here's in. Uh, oh my gosh. She just keeps getting hit by these back airs. Oh, gets hit by the Thunder Jolt again. This does not look fun. And that's gonna be it for that stock. I feel like he really couldn't do anything. He just read every recovery. Ooh, almost gets the up air. That probably would have killed it if it connected in front of Ike. Back here, sends Ike off stage. Ooh, nice down tilt combo. Hits him with the back air once again. Such a good move. Oh. Oh, wait, I think that Thunder Jolt saved him? I think that he wouldn't recover if they didn't, if Mo didn't throw that Thunder Jolt out. That's just going to be the end of it, though. That's going to be game one going to uh, Amogus, the P2. Got uh, it looks like we got a co-commentator, finally. Alright. Speak again. Once again. Uh, I feel like I'm not hearing anything. Just talk like a full sentence. Alright. Uh, are you able to hear me, Johnny? Yes, I can hear you now. I think, All right, sounds good. I think the audio is good now for you. All right, great. Three, two, one, go! All right, we're going to game two right now. The counter pick is Town and City, probably to make use of some of the kills that I can get from this side. Yeah, but I feel like these are also good for PC though, because if you get like a throw on one of these platforms, Probably just combo them off. Well, it's sort of a weird situation. It might be the case that Tommy Boy thought that Ike would simply just die off of edge guards anyway. So yeah. that distance from the zone may not make a difference. Definitely those higher platforms will help him recover a lot easier. On the other hand, this sort of flat ground is going to help Pichu combo. And it's definitely showing so far in terms of how his match is starting. 
getting a lot of damage on Ike right from the start. So I, I mean, it's looking at least better than the first game. I'm pretty sure Tommy Boy got taken to like 100 something without getting a hit in the first game. Tommy Boy stuck in the corner. Pretty scary situation for him. Looking for a near to start combo. That's the best to kill. The rock ass smash. I'm pretty sure. I'm o I'm pretty sure Pichu probably done like some sort of smash off that off the lag, but didn't. Nair's not gonna be enough to kill right now. Seems like Tommy Boy's really trying to get that Nair, but Cat is not wanting to get it. And Dash Attack takes it off. It's the Pichu Pikachu classic. Dash Attack just kills. <laughs> Yeah, gotta work eventually. Yeah. That's the problem though. Once Cass just lands like one single like down tilt or something, it just it goes it's gonna be thirty or forty percent. Yeah, a lot of these combos. I definitely being in a way being very nice to teach you just get a lot of percent racked up. Uh Amogus getting a lot of extra credit here. He was getting hit after hit, not letting Tommy Boy finish off the stock. Ooh, I thought that fourth match was gonna last long enough to catch the air dodge. Ooh, I like what Cass did there. So after the Aether, he was waiting for a defensive option from Tommy Boy, knowing that there may not be a lot of time in order to punish whichever move comes after from Tommy Boy. And just from that, he was able to wait, see that Tommy Boy went for a shield and get a grab off that. Yeah. I was gonna say that was a nice kill. Tommy Boy couldn't didn't attack the platform and. He just got the down smash for the kill. <laughs> but now it's not looking good. 3 to 1. Tommy Boy needs to get this kill immediately. Pichu for lead can be very scary. Yeah. He just needs one attack. Oh. Drag down back air. Yeah. And Mogus is just looking unstoppable with all this damage. Back air poking through the shield. Oh, so yeah. Was that the last of the back air? Oh, and that's gonna actually yeah. do it. Yeah, unfortunately, that side be equipped on the Pichu from hitting it. When we saw the zoom in on the back air, it looked like it was, he was doing like.